Hello, my name is Mad Ferret. Today we are going to be starting our journey with England on the road to becoming world champions. With the Euros cancelled, it seems like the perfect time to get this started. As you can see, Southgate has done a fantastic job so far and we're currently sitting top of the group with a game in hand. Our opening games will be against Montenegro and Bulgaria, both of which we'll be hoping to snatch second place in the table. So picking our squad for the opening games, first we're going to start with goalkeepers. We are going to include Jordan Pickford, because he is definitely in our top three and perhaps our number one. For the next spot, I'll go with Jack Butland, fantastic goalkeeper, probably way above championship level. And the other spot going to Fraser Forster, who has been in fantastic form for Celtic in this save. Moving on to right back, there's Trent Alexander-Arnold, fantastic choice there, great attacking fullback, and he will definitely be in my team. For the other spot, I'm going to go with Kyle Walker, another fantastic player, probably going to play back up to Alexander-Arnold, but you never know. Moving on to left back, probably going to be a very, very tough call against Ben Chilwell and Luke Shaw, but look at the form of Danny Rose and Ryan Bertrand, I have to put them in. Moving on to centre-back, probably my first choice partnership, would be John Stones and Big Harry Maguire. I've also included Eric Dyer as a backup. Joe Gomez is out for one day, so I don't really see a risk there. I'd like him in the team, so he's in. As for central midfield, the obvious contenders are Deli Ali and Jordan Henderson. Alongside them, there is Mason Mounds, who is in some fantastic form at the minute. I'm going to have to include him. The remaining central midfield positions will go to Barkley and Chamberlain. I thought I'd like to see how Foden's getting on. No first team appearances yet for Foden, so I'm going to stick with those two for now. As for wingers, Sterling, Rashford and Sancho all make the team, no questions asked. They're my three first choice wingers. Although, I think Sterling is the only one of those three that is a natural right-sided player. So I'm going to include Jesse Lingard and see how he gets on. He will be my backup. Another decision that is as easy as it could be to make, Harry Kane takes a first striker position. Alongside him, I'm going to go with Callum Wilson and trust in youth with Tammy Abraham. And this is my final squad for the games. So here we are, ready for our opening game against Montenegro. We've got Jadon Sancho starting. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is in the centre alongside Jordan Henderson. Ryan Bertrand also starts and Joe Gomez is in the centre. Here's a chance for Alexander-Arnold, whipping it in, and Sterling scores, we're off to a fantastic start. Henderson and Alexander-Arnold linking up nicely here. Henderson knocks it in, and Kane hits it over the bar. Wasted corner from England. Goalkeeper pushes his players forwards. Lofts it up the field, and this is a chance for Montenegro. And they've lost it. Another chance for England, maybe. Balls out wide to Deli Alley. Whips it in. And oh, nearly. So close. Bertrand loses the ball. And it's fluffed his goal kick. Sterling out wide. Crossed it in. Brilliant goal. Harry Kane. And the score is 2 0. Half time and we're in complete control. Gonna bring on Rashford for Sancho and see if we can bag a couple more goals. Ball whipped in by Bertrand and another goal for Raheem Sterling. Fantastic way to start the second half. And that's a yellow card for Alexander Arnold. I think I'm gonna bring him off, bring on Kyle Walker. I don't want to risk Alexander Arnold missing the next match. Cross comes in and out of nowhere Montenegro have pulled one back. Hopefully it's just a consolation goal. We'll see what happens. Wasteful there. Montenegro can come up the pitch playing it around nicely. Looking confident, now going backwards. Kane snatches it, and he wastes it. Another opportunity wasted. And it's time to bring on Big Harry. 
unlucky to miss out to Gomez, but Gomez has had a solid game here. Another terrible kick from their keeper, and we're on the attack. Can we get another? The referee blows his whistle, and that's full time, 3-1. And there is the league table, 12 points from 4 games and on the edge of qualifying for the European Championships. Our next game will be Bulgaria. Just the one change made, Mason Mount coming in for Oxlade Chamberlain. We've won it back, time for a counter attack. Henderson crosses it in and over the bar by Mount. Raheem Sterling has picked up a knock here. I'm going to have to make a quick sub. Going to bring on Jesse Lingard. Mount knocks it in. Gomez with the header, 1-0. Nearly a second there from Kane. Good start for England. And it's Stones this time. We're really pushing for that second goal. Oh, and it's Ryan Bertrand's turn to come close this time. Jaden Sancho out wide, crosses it in, and Lingard, what a sub! Really rooting for Mason Mount on his debut, he came close there. Big Harry on for Gomez, it's been fantastic, I can't risk losing him. Ball going out wide to Ryan Bertrand. Can he keep it in? Just, he crosses it. Oh, nothing. Delhi to Mount, crosses it in. And Jado Sancho buries it. Counter attack here with Jesse Lingard. He's got the ball. He's going. He's still going and he buries it. What a fantastic solo goal. Take a bow, Jesse Lingard. Henderson plays a 1 2 with Mount on the wing. Jaden Sancho, can he do it too? And he does. What a goal. 5 0, and it doesn't get much better than this. Sancho's on a move, he's still got it, is he going to pass it? Henderson, nearly six. Quick sub here, Kyle Walker on for Alexander-Arnold. Possibly the last attack of the match. It's crossed in. Just over the bar. And there it is. 5-0. Full time. Fully deserved winners. And it's done. We've qualified for the European Championships. Top of the table as easy as you like. Okay, so now that we've qualified, we're going to whiz through the remaining three games and then on to the group draw for the European Championships. Our next game was on the road to Czech Republic.
Marcus Rashford comes off the bench to replace Jadon Sancho and Ben Chilwell comes in replacing Ryan Bertrand. The first goal came from Marcus Rashford with an absolute rocket showing exactly why he's in the team. The second goal came from Oxlade Chamberlain with a venomous shot hitting right into the bottom corner. Delhi Ali hammers home to make it 3 0 to the visitors. The fourth goal was a long range effort driven in by Alexander Arnold. And an absolute howler from the Czech keeper gives Harry Kane England's fifth and final goal of the match. Courtesy of some rebounds in the penalty area, Czech Republic pull back a consolation goal in the final minutes. Just looking at the match stats, I think Czech Republic have every right to feel hard done by there. Coming into the next match, Kyle Walker comes into the starting lineup and Phil Foden makes his first appearance off the bench. Harry Kane opens the scoring from the penalty spot, and then Marcus Rashford doubles England's advantage with a fine header from the edge of a six yard box. Joe Gomez adds another goal to his England tally with a fine header. And then Marcus Rashford seals the win 4 0. Just looking at those stats, it could have been far more than it was. And then our final game of the group comes against Montenegro. The opening goal was a rocket by Ben Chilwell, driven straight into the bottom corner. After some good play, a 2-0 win was sealed by a deft finish from Raheem Sterling. Another dominant display from England, there could have been so many more goals there. And that's it, league champions and qualifying easily. And here we are for the draw of the European Championships and we've got Wales. You couldn't really ask for more than that. Also in the group are Poland and Switzerland. Join us in our next episode where we find out if football is coming home. That's all for today, stay mad for it.